Send vows before God and this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that Jimmy and Becky have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put a son. Let us pray. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon Jimmy and Becky that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we share in this moment, Jimmy and Becky wanted to share together at the Holy Meal, uh, the communion that we share together. And so I invite you in the hymnals that are there in the rack before you, on page 13, the beginning at the Great Thanksgiving, we invite you to join us in our responses that are there, or repeat them from heart as you may know them already. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image, male and female, you created us. You gave us the gift of marriage that we might fulfill each other. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit from which flows the covenant law of husband and wife. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts of Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by His blood. By Your Spirit, make us one with Christ. And bless Jimmy and Becky, and that their love for each other may reflect the love of Christ for us and grow from strength to strength as they faithfully serve You in the world. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts a mantle upon, about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their lives and in their deaths. Finally, by your grace, bring them and all of us to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit,